Alex. Got it. Okay, so this is an aerial view of the campus. And as you know, the pink section there was the shade structure area that got completed this summer. Yes. And then, like I said, what we're going to talk about today is the new drop-off entry area in the back, the blue section. And then we're going to look at two initial concepts for the front. So they're sort of running in the in the order the, the shade structure is completed, then there's the drop-off, then there's the front. Um, okay. That's the order we're going to go through it. Okay. So going to the back, Alex, you can go, yes. So this is the plan. Um, it's very similar to what everybody saw about six months ago, I think, but we've done a little shifting. Um, the entry and exit onto Bancroft, it used to be further down to the south along the bottom of the page over here by these trees. Yes. But when we had a traffic study done, they talked about some line of sight issues and with the fence there, so it's been moved up. We actually like this plan better anyway, because it's more of a straight shot coming in. So what happens is cars will come in, they'll mm -hmm. come in here, there's a drop off area they can pull over, or if somebody just wants to straight, they can drive straight. I'm driving crooked here with my with my mouse, okay? And you come down around and there's extra parking spaces there, and then it'd be an exit back onto Bancroft. Okay, okay. so that's, um, and so now we have some renderings to show everybody so you can see what that will look like. Okay. All right. So this is a aerial view looking towards the north. So we're up, you know, bird's eye view looking at the new parking spaces and the trees. There's a certain amount of trees that are required because of shade. Um, the Cal Green Code now require, requires more shade in a parking area. Um, it also makes it look prettier when you come in. And then if you spin around, next slide, Alex. Um, this is what you can see, sort of a bird's eye view of what's happening when you come in off of Bancroft, over to the drop-off area, and then around. And now if we go down to reality, like an actual view of what somebody would see, this is what the entrance will look like. And at this slide, you can see the gates. So this is a, a sliding gate that would close from this side and this side in order to close off the campus in the back. Mm -hmm. And it's actually set in far enough that somebody could pull off the road and then stop and then activate the gate if needed. Okay. Um, we wanted to make sure we kept Bancroft clear. Over on the right-hand side of this, you'll see a school sign. This is not fully designed yet. Um, it's here as a placeholder. We'll be detailing that out as we get closer to the submittal. But the idea is to have a school sign that also has a marquee that can have some announcements. Okay. Um, awesome. Another thing we've been talking about is whether or not the marquee would be better off in the front of the school. And that's something we want to get input from you guys on site. Is it better to have it where people are driving in and out for drop off or is it better to have it over on East 14th near the front? Mm -hmm. So that's just something to keep in mind while we go through this. Okay. Um, the next slide shows what happens as you enter further into the drop off area. It's kind of showing you, you can see there's a lot, we've left enough space to have a clear a uh, path of travel for cars to drive by while someone else is pulled over in the drop-off area. Another thing that's happened since the spring, and I'm just gonna mention this because there probably may be some teachers watching this who um, saw the one in the spring. Originally, we had some benches out along here. There was some concern on the part of the teachers that they didn't want to have people, random people sleeping in the benches or hanging out in the benches. Mm -hmm. So we've moved those inside the fence and we'll show you that in a minute. Um, another feature in the drop-off is there it, along the side where it's dropped off, there'll be this one level area, um, very similar to some other school that you've probably seen with no curb in that area. And that's for the um, accessibility. So if somebody's that's a, this accessible drop-off area. And then here, this shows um, if you were inside the school looking out at the drop-off area, we're saying we found that we could put along with the new fences, there's a lot of opportunities. You could put some benches there where kids could sit, but it would be inside closer to the campus. Yes, I like that. Okay, and then this is just a one more time, the aerial view just to see, um, this is when we're gonna take any comments or thoughts or questions from anybody. And you probably, if they're only watching the recording to this, the teachers will be able to email those, or um, we can have another call, like, cause I was saying, but it could be a shorter meeting just where they could ask us questions. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes, it's beautiful. Okay. No questions, comments, changes, thoughts, anything? Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Erin. Sorry, I popped hey, in. Hi. I wasn't sure if our Wi Fi was still going to be on, but so far it's on. Um, so I think what you were um, saying is that the two benches um, that in the aerial view are outside the fence, we're going to move those inside the fence. Yep. Correct. I'm, I'm pro, I like that decision. 
Oh, good. All right. Good. Thank you. Yeah. A couple of people mentioned that in the, in the springtime. So we're, we've got them. There's still be places to sit that are very near the drop off area, but not right outside where anybody can access it. Well, and remember though, that the, it's going to be an automated gate, right? Uh, yeah. but, uh, so during the day, they won't be able to do that. Um, but once school's over, then they'd have access to it, I guess. We, we've had, we've had some issues like uh, I, I know I've gotten to school um, and there's been like homeless people sleeping in our parking lot before and stuff like that. Um, and like, that's a time where we would want the gate to be open so teachers can park, but we don't want the gate to be letting in sleepers. Mm -hmm. Right. These are also elementary school kids and they're, they've been known to, I think if they end up wanting to kind of queue up in the drop-off area along here, they tend to sit on the ground. It takes to like middle, like middle school or high school tends to like, like if a little kid, if a kid wants to sit down and they're in third grade, they, they're not so opposed to sitting on the ground as a high schooler would be. So I think having the benches inside would be okay. Could always, you can always go back and install benches. I mean, if we want to add benches, we could. That's more of a user thing. Also, I came in at the tail end, but I think you were asking for input on East 14th as main pickup drop off versus this parking area. No, just the marquee sign. This is going to be, this is the parking area. It's designed already. It's been just that, that decision got made back in the spring. So the, what was, the, what, what are you asking about the marquee something? So there's a scrolling marquee that'll have like school announcements and stuff on it. Whether or not the scrolling marquee belongs at this entrance on Bancroft or whether it belongs on the East 14th side at the actual quote unquote front of the school. I don't know about that. I don't know. Maybe right now. go back a slide to show that view. Yeah. Jane, is it out of the question to have it in both spots? It's only a budget question. Aaron, is it out of the question? To have it in both spots? It's, we have no budget for this. We, uh -huh. we currently have a marquee that is old fashioned marquee in the front of our school. Maybe if we could keep that one and then the new fancy marquee could go in the new drop off. Oh, yeah. So maybe just making a note that we do not want them to tear down the old marquee. Okay. One one of the things I'd like to throw out there uh, just as a possibility, and one of my thoughts was, and I know we discussed it internally, but instead of having it an electronic marquee at that end, just have that more of an identifier sign mm -hmm. that says something fancy on it, like, you know, welcome to McKinley Elementary School or whatever, maybe nice scroll work or something. Um, and then at the front, you do the electronic version or vice versa. That's kind of what I was thinking. I feel like the front of the school, I would, I would, I, my preference would be that we have the new fancy one in the front. Cause when I see the other schools, they already have it like Garfield, they have it in the front. So I just would want, um, you know, because it's the front of the school, like that's where people take pictures, all that. Like, and so I would want that to be, you know, consistent, but I am like with Aaron saying that we need to have some type of identifier um, in the back, whether yeah. it's old one or if it's just some type of nice sign, sign that <clears throat> that'd be good. I think that's an excellent solution. And I would echo that as well, because the on East 14th Street, you get just a ton of visibility. Mm -hmm. And when the district pays for mm -hmm. billboards in that same area, they're paying like $3,000 a month. So it's got um, for district messaging, it would make its money up <laughs> in terms of yeah and i think the one in the back it could be a really nice uh plasma cut uh sign and maybe maybe with your with your logo or your mascot on it mm -hmm. as well would be kind of nice That'd and just some kind of a monument that's yeah yep. i agree okay all right so that's about it for the um the rear then um now the front speaking of the front um so this this is obviously your existing condition. And so now we're at a different, we're jumping, we're jumping to different stages of design here. We haven't shown anybody any of our designs to the front yet. So this is just gonna, this is gonna be the first time that we've shown to uh, the two options for improving this whole front area. And the big issue at the front is that you basically have this nice big entry and then you have only steps going up to it, right? So there's no accessibility at all. And uh, we, there's, we have two approaches to that and we have some renderings for both of those. And so we'll go, what I'll do is I'll go through both of them and then we can do a side-by-side -side comparison and talk about some of the options. So this is option one. 
And what option one proposes doing is pulling out the upper landing from where it is now. You notice, you know, you know, when you come out that door, it's very narrow. I mean, you have these grand, like huge doors and then this tiny little walkway in front of them. So option one pulls out the landing and has a set of steps going directly up. It would also have a set of steps going up. Let me pick a different color to draw with, Fred, but a set of steps coming up. If you came from the left-hand side, there'd be a set of steps. And then over to the right-hand side, it would be a slow sloping walkway with some planting on it that would allow accessibility up to that top landing. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons we have that walkway so long instead of a shorter ramp is one of the, in our design work, what we're trying to do is get away from everything just being sort of a switchback concrete ramp with a railing on it that goes back and forth. So what this does, this is a slope that's low enough that you wouldn't have to have a bunch of railings and everything on it. It would just read like a sloped walkway on campus. So you'd still have accessibility, but you wouldn't have to turn it into a whole big section of ramp right in the front of your school. Um, similar to what we worked on at uh, Bancroft Middle School, for anyone who's familiar with the improvements that are going on over there, they have a similar thing. The steps are pulled out and one side there's stairs up. On the other side, they have this big kind of sloping sidewalk to get up. The okay, good Alex, thing is, I was just going to mention, Jane, if you jump in, but the good thing about that concept is, is that it really melts into the existing campus. It doesn't look like a ramp, like the one on the side that you have with a big handrail and everything. This will blend in with some some plantings to where you'll hardly even know that there's a ramp there and it won't affect, you know, kind of the architectural uh, historical significance of the building, right? Yeah, we like the pulled out stairs too. As a, I feel like this building deserves a, a bigger landing on the top. So, and Alex, why don't you go to show the view from the left? Um, oh, this is a zoomed in view. You can see it more clearly. Sorry, skip this one. Okay, and then over to the left, you can see this is what. It, and now, just just as a um, caveat to all this, this isn't a final design. Okay, so some of these things we just threw some handrails, and this isn't like in, in detail what it's going to look like. It's just enough to kind of get your head in it and get some opinions going. So this would be the stairs up from the left. And then over on the right-hand side, we have a view looking from this way. You can see, so this walkway would go level. So if somebody came in over here, they could just walk this way. But this one here is sloped up to go up to the entrance of the school. And we would do a lot of planting in between. So you'd be able to have um, both work without having to have it be a ramp. And then the final slide on this is, you can see in plan view. So that's option one. And then option two is here. Now option two is still having a pulled out landing at the top and stairs going up, but instead of having stairs on each side, what we've done here is we've raised up, filled in all along here to raise the lawn up sloping to meet those uh, the sidewalk coming from each side. So picture everything's raised up and then in the back, I'm going to switch to pink for a second. In the back, this becomes a little wall with a drop-off planter in the back. Uh, let's go move in a little bit further, Aaron. Uh, sorry, Aaron. <laughs> Aaron, next slide. Alex, next slide. You can see here, this is a simplified version. Um, it doesn't have the switchback, but it has the lawn coming up. And then if you look from the left, you can see this. And, um, and then if you look from the right-hand side, this looks like that. So you can see this, you could come up to here and go this way, or you could continue up this way. Um, one thing I'd like to say at this point, actually, Alex, can you go back one? Um, also, this one's showing all lawn and the other one was showing a lot of planting. There's also an option of kind of a, a combo between these two that might choose this alternative, but you might choose to have planting in this area if you liked planting next to the stairs or something like that. Um, all right, and then the last slide on this one is this. So you can see this looks similar to Roosevelt Elementary. Um, this is very similar to what we did over there, same idea, getting a sloped walkway, kind of a curvilinear sloped walkway up to the top. So the big difference, because I know it's large, so let's go to the two, um, the set. so we have option one, that basically raises this like a podium in the center portion and has a ramp on one side and stairs on the other. And then we have option two that 
still keeps it at that top level, but does filling in on the ground um, instead of raising it as a, as a kind of like structural podium. And they both have a very different architectural effect on the building. And so we are interested in getting your input on the two options. And this is just the aerial view of both. We can flip to any images if you want to see them again. Malika, I will totally let you jump in first if you want to go first. <laughs> you were reading my mind, Erin. I was like, okay, Erin, what you think, what you think? Um, <laughs> I like the visual of the two landings, but I think we would need some planters, right, Erin? I think the heel is just begging for rolling um, and falling. So I think if we had some planters opposed to like the slope, if we had some type of differentiating with some plants, it may be better just for us as with the little ones because it's just inviting some rolling, but I think it is visual. But if I think of Erin coming out with all her kids, some kids can go this way, some kids can go that way where the stairs are constantly jumping off, even the few stairs that we have now. So um, I like the pulling out for sure, but I think the equal size would give us more just dismissal space for kids to get by, but just to help us not with the slope. I think if we can just okay. do something different than the slope. What you think, Erin? Um, Jane, can you go, or I don't know who's controlling the slides, Alex. right? Yes. Alex. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I, I totally agree that the slopes um, equal kids rolling. Um, yep. So I'm happy to get rid of that. I, I personally liked um, option number one. Um, can we, yeah, thank you. Um, I liked option number one and we typically use our stairs for like once 10 minutes have gone by, if there haven't been kids that have been picked up yet, the stairs become a seating area. That way we can continue okay. and keep track of who has been picked up and who's playing. Okay. Um, so option number one um, allows for that. Um, one thing I was thinking is right now, um, the stairs are pretty wide. And so we're able to section off um, portions of the stairs that are for sitting and then leave some of the stairs still open for Mm -hmm. people who are walking um do you know like measurement wise the um stairs that are in this option one would we be losing some length in the stairs with option one compared to the length of the stairs that we have now alex can you go back to the existing photo she's got that no one wants to be the driver on these things <laughs> <laughs> okay See how those stairs are really long? Yes. Yes. So you would be losing to about, you'd be losing this end here, which kind of has to happen when we pull out to get the accessibility in this part here, but you'd be gaining the stairs on the left-hand side. So the other thing, I have an idea though, um, Alex, yeah. go forward. I have an idea that would answer some of this. Um, Alex, go forward to the like, um, I think I can answer uh, option one. Let's go to option one. The, uh, there, perfect. Um, one of the other things too, is we're showing this wall a little bit higher here. This could also be a seat. We could break this down and this could be seating along here. We could do like a little concrete ledge to it. So you'd have additional, you, you'd lose, we could widen this up a little bit at the top, get you a little more stairs there, widen it, and then make it so this would actually be additional uh, kind of bench height seating in the front. Um, so I love the idea of adding the additional seating. Again, I do get nervous about people using the benches um, for sleeping. Yeah. Um, so if we just had the, if we took out those planners and then where you have those red lines, if we just had maybe like longer stairs, we don't, at least not to my knowledge, I haven't seen people sleeping on the stairs, but I have seen people, you know, trying to use benches. Could we potentially um Malika I don't know what you think but so we I can feel widen like it rather have a longer stairs but not have the stairs going off to the left well we have to have the stairs going off to the left because there there's going to be a way there there has to be something on that edge otherwise it's just a drop off but we could widen it somewhat I do need to have some planter here because we have a slope coming up and we okay. can't have a slope go down to stairs Aaron, I'm kind of following you. What if we did option B, right, Aaron? And you're saying just widen the stairs to give us a little more, because you're yep. right, we do use our stairs. Yep. Could, could we do that? 
Yeah, yeah, let's go to B. Let's go to number two. Same view, uh, Alex. I keep calling you Aaron today, Alex. I'm sorry. Well, there are two Aaron's in the meeting, so. <laughs> there's, his, there's a lot of Aaron's and Alex's in my life right now. Don't even ask. Um, so something like this one, but because you guys seem to like the slope of the, the feeling of number two, um, you're saying do this, but keep the stairs. I'm just kind of sketching this out with my mouse really quickly. Um, make the stairs come out, which means we'd have to widen this a little bit. Um, we do lose, uh, we may lose a couple trees. Tree. That's another thing we are trying to say. If there's a, tr um, we have, we're trying to stay away from the tree roots, but if, if I wasn't aware the stairs were an important sort of seeding drop-off thing. So we can play around with that. That's a good, let me ask this. If we could make the stairs wider, if you compare the two options, if assuming we could widen the stairs, which would be your preferred? Um, I was also going to stay with uh, our current um, our current setup um, where the drop off where the, where the stairs ends. We have like uh, like brick, not columns, brick. Uh, what do you call those, Malika? Blockers? I don't know. Little little block uh, brick walls <laughs> to <laughs> prevent <laughs> it from being like a total drop off. Yeah. Um. I kind of like, so, I, I just feel like having more, having ramps on both sides, I don't see as many teachers using the ramps as like standing places as we're um, finding parents and things like that. So I kind of like how option one just has the one long ramp yeah. and then not a ramp on the other side. Mm -hmm. And then maybe instead of having that um, second side staircase, we could have a brick blocker like we have now to so prevent your, it from your challenge is, the challenge of the brick blocker just is so code has changed since your building was built oh. so we're going with there's a couple things we have to write i'm i'm what i'm trying to do is get what we're going to do is we're going to hear all your input and yeah. come back with something that we think is the intent of what you want that still meets current code so just having a little row of bricks blocking kids from going off the edge of something probably doesn't fly anymore so we we're trying to work with it but we and that's why we stick planters in sometimes because that helps but we'll we'll work with it what i hear you let me let me see what i hear you saying is that you want wider stairs or more stair seating but you would want i wasn't actually proposing i don't want to put a bench because i know there's a sphere of benches but i was saying if we lowered this planter so that it was a planter that they could sit on the edge of the planter like a seat wall um, kind of thing so nobody's going to sleep on it but it would, kids could sit all along the edge of the wall I like that that would probably you know that would give you the idea of the seating without somebody's going to come sleep on it can, um, I, can I jump in and I think I hear what uh, Aaron's saying we're used to having a little bit of control with so the porch I mean the yep. everything and the stairs kind of holds them in where if we have the <laughs> on both sides like that means the classes can spread all the way out maybe to the street way or to the other way so we kind of lose the class so we kind of do keep them all right squished up together yep. because that's kind of how we hold them until we see parents and so that's kind of I think am I right Aaron it's kind of like that's kind of why we like the stairs or like the in the seating because we can keep them controlled until we yep. see parents okay you may go um yep. so that's kind of what we're it's not like a little holding station you know yeah. that we're more secure where I do like visually the other I do like option b but if I am a teacher and I'm letting go then it means I have 20 or 30 kids that can stretch all the way out down yep. that path and we may not want them to go that far down well we could eliminate this whole we could eliminate these stairs and this could all be a planter on this end too it just I can't like that better. Um, the thing is, if somebody's walking this way, um, the other thing we could do is look at some sort of control, uh, like a gate, like a, a swinging gate or something at the top. If there, I mean, there's all sorts of options here. If you guys were thinking about it, so something that would allow you to sort of say this is a closed in area at certain times, but not others. Um, but we could look. Let us play around with it. We're getting the idea what you need. You need much more. You need stair seating in the front, and you want it to feel like a space where when you have the kids out there you've got them until you see the parents. Yeah. And I yeah. personally, this super helpful, super helpful. I personally, I don't feel like, and thank you so much for getting all of this input. I like super appreciate this. Um, I feel like um, we don't, I don't feel like Malik, maybe you feel differently, but um, the gate, I don't know that we need an official gate, but I like the idea of like using planters to kind of be those natural, like creating mm -hmm. areas 
you know, that we can say, okay, stay within the planters or, you know, whatever language we end up using. Um, okay. But I like creating those natural different areas. Okay. Um, and uh, for the stairs that we currently have, it's wide enough that we have two railings down the middle. So it kind of ends up being um, to the left of that railing is seating, to the right of this railing, railing is seating, and then that middle of the two railings is still open for this walking. Kind of thing. Yep. So having the two railings in the middle, again, is kind of like a natural sectioning off of areas. That would be really awesome. Okay. And if I'm putting things on a wish list, if we could have <laughs> um, like paint, like on the edge of the steps, which I think we have on the new steps anyways, if that paint could be like, green steps are sitting steps and the middle section is walking steps we can say sit on green steps or whatever um just you know it's more language that we can use to help the kids know what sections to be in we could probably have a little more fun with that than even paint i'm, I'm thinking we haven't even gotten into the design of this we might maybe use two colors of pavers or something to do these steps Ooh. And think, so it doesn't feel like you've painted your steps or something, you know, we can maybe do two tone pavers or like we can look at something like that, that would allow you to sort of be like this section or this section. I mean, now that would probably look less tacky too. So I like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that'll be so there's gonna be a whole nother round of this. This is just our initial sort of like picking up ideas. So what I hear is you like the look of um, we've got a couple of different combinations here. So we kind of like the look of option two, but the functionality and the yeah block up number one because so, she's right like we we use this the stairs are the, we use for seating but then parents are still coming in so it is and right now we have what's three sets Erin we have three parts where the parents can still go up the middle we have kids on either side so for right now we have plenty of steps right so the parents can still come in delivery still can come in yep. and then we have two our primary can sit on one side our upper grades can sit on the other so we have plenty of seats and they're seated so they can't really go until they see their parents so if we have less steps we're going to be like what? where do we put the kids but we do still need for the family so maybe if we did uh Aaron, keep the other side maybe that's how we can let the parents go up or deliveries go up on the side stairs and then let the front be just for mm -hmm. our seating. class management area. Yep, that would be another way to do it. So we, we, this is such good information, you guys. I completely appreciate this. So I think what I'm thinking is, because I what you guys are responding to is you, you liked this a little better as the ramping thing than the other one. Is that what I was hearing too? You liked this sort of curve part of number two. So we're going to see what we can do to merge the parts you like of number one and the parts you like of number two. And then we're gonna come back with a design. Does that make sense? And to the best of what we can do, meeting all the, the code things and everything you've told us about more stairs and uh, planters and stuff. And I think um, that should get us into a pretty, I mean, this is a, just enough information that I think we've got what we need to come back with another version. And again, I really appreciate you're talking about this right now. So we didn't get it done. And then you wished you had more stairs. So. Well, that's the whole reason for these meetings. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry the internet was out. We'd have a lot yeah, more opinions. I but, know. Um, well, the thing too is if so, for people who are listening in the future on this, um, we can have another meeting with more discussion items. Um, and the other thing we can do is we can also move forward. This is, We're going to start moving it forward with some of the feedback that we heard today. Because sometimes it takes a while to get those meetings scheduled. And maybe you guys can share this. You can share what you've already mentioned. If there's anything else that someone brings up after they see this that you think you didn't mention, if we can get it um, collected, uh, Kazaya usually collects that in an email and she forwards it to us so we can read it while we're working on the next level. And then we'll bring it back um, for more input, hopefully within another week or two. We're moving pretty quickly. We wanna submit this before Thanksgiving to DSA. So we're on a quick timeline. Diviani, will you make sure to give the video over to Malika? once we're done with the Zoom meeting. Um, so then she could share it with her staff. Um, and then Jane or Alex, can I get these renderings too so that I could post yeah. them on the website so folks can, uh, we can get some outdoor outside engagement too. Yeah. And then Malika, I will give you a link to a feedback form so that we can start to collect some feedback from your staff and we'll, we'll send the same one out to the community too. That sounds great, thank you. 
Thank Malika, you. I would also say, listen, we're willing, if for some reason um, there's people who feel like they don't want to watch the video or they left out of something or they need to do it, I'm we can make something work next week. Okay. If they want to carve great. out 15, 20 minutes, I'm happy just myself to jump on a, a call with them and answer questions or run through it. That's not a problem at all. That's fine. We have another staff meeting uh, Wednesday, 2.30 to 3.20. So we might could do okay. that for the first okay. part. Okay. Okay. Right. And I have done, uh, I, I did the recording, so I, I'll forward you the recording, uh, Malika, okay. and then along thank with you. your uh, sketches. Uh, okay, thank you so much. All right. Thank you. All right, thank thanks you guys so much for your feedback. I really appreciate it. All right, thanks, well, you guys. Have a good one. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Bye.